the south and east areas, that's where you're going to see the highest totals. Exactly, yeah, and that's where we are seeing some of the totals. But we're getting some new totals in hour by hour up in Fishers, around an inch and a half of new snow. Beach Grove at around an inch. Indy Airport, really not much, but they're on the western side of the metro area. So you can see kind of just how sharp that cutoff is when we're looking at snow accumulation. They're looking at around two tenths of an inch. Batesville at around two inches. New Report in Castleton at two inches of snow right now. Continuing to see snowfall. And that's going to be the case throughout a good portion of this morning. So expect to see more snowfall or a little bit more snow accumulation across much of the area. Here's current Storm Tracker 8 radar right now. The darker blues is where we're seeing some heavier bands of some snow set up. And most of that, again, off towards our eastern communities. Elwood down towards eastern portions of the metro area, just outside the I-465 loop. So a little bit closer to Fishers, near, say, the Greenfield area along I-70. And then we're going to take it back off towards our far eastern communities near Newcastle, Rushville, near Connersville, Richmond right now, I think, in a very brief break. But again, you're going to see snow showers redevelop throughout this morning. We still have a winter storm warning in effect for areas in pink. That's southeastern portions of the state. That includes parts of I-74 down towards Columbus along I-65. That's up until 2 o'clock later on this afternoon. Winter weather advisory a little bit closer to the metro area. That's in purple for Muncie, Richmond down towards Bloomington. That's also expires at around 2 o'clock later on this afternoon. Main impacts from this winter weather we see, especially for southeastern parts of the state. Snowfall, you're going to see that pretty steady and consistently throughout this morning. That's going to cause for some sticking on the roads, so roads will be slick for a lot of folks if you're coming in from I-65 on the south side and I-74. Also parts of I-70 and I-69, so something to take into consideration this morning. Also, snowfall is going to limit visibility, especially when you start to get it blowing and drifting. Right now, visibility up towards Muncie, just over a mile in Shelbyville, two and a half miles of visibility. Otherwise, we're looking at perfect visibility because we're not looking at much snow off towards Lafayette, Terre Haute, and down in Bloomington. Even here across the metropolitan area, I don't think we're going to have much of an issue. Roads are just on the wetter side. So futurecasts are taking us through around 930. You notice it's shifting well off towards our eastern communities. Muncie, Richmond, down towards I-74 near the Batesville area still could be picking up on some snow showers by around at least late morning. Early afternoon is when we start to see some of the showers start to taper off into flurries. Maybe a few breaks in the clouds by around mid-afternoon and beyond that, but clouds will begin to thin out very late this evening and into the overnight hours. Temperatures are going to fall and they'll fall quickly. Lows are going to fall into the 20s later on tonight. Snowfall totals, I think we're going to keep them where we're at right now. Two to five inches where we have the winter storm warning. That's from Shelbyville and points southeast. Areas a little bit closer to the metropolitan area around one to two. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now with the latest reports. We saw fissures at around an inch and a half. Parts of Castleton at around two inches. Temperatures for today are going to eventually warm up into the lower 40s. And we'll eventually start to see a few rays of sunshine later on this afternoon. But a bulk of the snow showers again is going to move out by mid morning. Today, hi, it's everybody's hopping out in the 40s. 45 down in Bedford, 44 in the Bloomington area. And as I mentioned before, since we're going to clear out tonight, temperatures are going to fall into the middle to lower 20s. So any leftover moisture on the roads could pose a threat for tomorrow morning's commute with a few isolated slick spots. Everybody in the 20s for tonight. Highs for tomorrow, we're going to tack on a couple more degrees. 48 here in the city, 46 down in Shelbyville, 50 in Bedford, and 46 up in Kokomo tomorrow afternoon. Another blast of wintry weather for this weekend. We could see a morning mix. Some of that could just be plain old snow showers for some locations. So we're going to watch the system closely, especially closer to the weekend we had. 37 degrees for a high on Saturday. By Sunday, highs topping out in the lower 40s. We do see a little bit more sunshine before we see spring-like conditions to start off the work week next week. Here's our Chapman heating and cooling eight-day forecast. Thursday into Friday, we do see a brief break from the precipitation, so drier weather to end off the work week. Also a touch warmer. Temperatures are going to warm up into the upper 40s. If we don't come close to 50 come Thursday, we'll definitely hit it by Friday. 50 degrees for a forecasted high wintry mix Saturday, possible early mix Sunday. That's going to clear out quickly. We see mainly sunny skies during the afternoon. Monday into Tuesday, scattered showers and storms likely with spring-like weather on the horizon with highs in the lower 50s. Road conditions this morning.